He called the hormone a toxin that you have to slowly work out of your system. Honestly, it's kind of funny to me how up in arms people get over hormones, because like, they're just signaling molecules. That's all they do. Hormones signal your body to do things. That's what they do. Like, that's their entire function. Like, yes, obviously, too many hormones can do things to your body that they shouldn't, but that's the same with everything. Like, calling testosterone specifically a toxin, you know what else is a toxin? Ethanol, caffeine, I think capsaicin, technically. Like, there's a lot of things that are toxins, especially in, like, large amounts. And, like, yeah, too much testosterone can do things, but, like, it, it, it in, in, in and of itself, testosterone is not toxic. Like, this is what you're getting mad at. It's just a bunch of carbons and shit. Like, it's just a hormone. Like, yeah, you don't want too much of it, but like, it's just a hormone. Then look, this is estrogen. You see how it's pretty much the same thing? Estrogen is also just a hormone, and you don't want too much estrogen either. But like, they're not that different. Like, Based on structure, the only thing is differing, like this is testosterone, there's a methyl group, a double bond to oxygen, and a, like, two less double bonds in the uh, carbon ring. Then estrogen, they're missing a methyl group, they have an OH instead of a double bond to O, and they have two more double bonds to oxygen. I mean, no, two more double bonds in the carbon ring. That's just purely based on structure, like... Add a methyl group, take away a, um, double bond, etc. Like, people get so mad about hormones, but you need hormones because you need sig sig cell signaling. You know what's also a hormone? Insulin. We need insulin. That's very well documented. Also, serotonin. That's a hormone. Like, just because it's a hormone doesn't mean it's bad. Like, people get so angry about hormones when they're literally just signaling molecu molecules. Oh my god, I can't speak. Also, later in the video, it mentions that Hollywood is shoving androgynous, androgynous bullshit down people's throats, but fun fact, the human species as of right now is the least androgynous, androgynous that it's basically ever been. Like, throughout evolution, you can see in other primates, there was a lot more sexual dimorphism. Humans, like, don't have that as much. Like, personal variation is playing way more of a role than actual sexual dimorphism. So, just a fun fact, we used to be way more sexually dimorphic than we were, like, especially earlier ancestors. 